Hey, what's up guys and welcome to my living room. So if you couldn't tell by the title already, today we are gonna be talking about some of my current favorites, not just in the realm of beauty, but also in fashion, lifestyle, hair care, skin care, little bit of everything. I'm looking outside right now and it's literally a blizzard. It is officially winter, so obviously when winter comes along, a lot of my um, routine changes up in fashion and in beauty and everything else. So these are all the things that I'm loving right now, all sort of relative to the current season. Now before I jump into today's video, I just wanna give a quick little shout out to Alana Davison because she totally inspired me to do today's video. She just recently did her um, current winter beauty favorites and beauty routines, so I will link her video down below if you want to check it out. So I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy this type of favorites video. If you would like to see more, let me know. And also you could let me know by just giving this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribing if you want to be part of the fam. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So I'm going to first start off with my current favorite foundation, especially now that it's colder outside. This has been the only thing that I've been wearing and it is the MAC face and body. Such an oldie but a goodie. This stuff has been around for the longest time. I actually used to use this in my freelance makeup kit along with the Makeup Forever face and body and I loved it. I loved it because I found that it worked well for all different skin types. It's definitely on the lighter coverage size. You could probably build it up to be more of a medium. Even when it's built up to more of a medium coverage, it looks like nothing on the skin and that's what makes it so amazing. And the finish of this is also really natural so it just looks so effortless. It doesn't look like you piled on a ton of makeup. My skin has been beyond dry lately. Like it's been literally flaking off of my face. The extreme change of weather has not been kind to it. So it's been difficult to find a foundation that sort of works with my skin right now and doesn't make the texture look actually worse than it does. But the MAC Face and Body I find is really, really perfect for my skin right now because it is so hydrating and lightweight. So there you go. That's my current favorite foundations. So next I wanted to talk about a facial serum. This is the Coco Kind Organic Facial Repair Serum. So like I just mentioned, my skin has been stupidly dry and it's been really difficult to just get my skin to actually retain moisture and this serum has been a lifesaver for me. I've been using it for months now but especially within the last few weeks once the weather had changed um, have I been really using this like religiously and honestly now I cannot live without it. One of the main reasons why I really like this product is actually the fact that it has very few and very natural ingredients in here. There's about three or four ingredients in here including avocado oil, coconut oil, and rose hip seed oil. I know that some people say that coconut oil clogs the pores, but I've not had any issues with the stuff whatsoever. So I've been using this stuff day and night. I either use it on its own or I mix it in with my moisturizer and it's just been making my skin feel so nourished and hydrated and like supple. <laughs> and I've just been really liking it. So there you go. Next, let's talk about shoes, baby. Ugh. Let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory. David and I started a workout competition, a 30-day workout challenge. We basically worked out as much as we possibly could in 30 days and whoever worked out the most would win a prize. So because of this challenge, I have been working out a ton recently and I've honestly become borderline obsessed because when you give me a challenge, I want to win. And also during that time, I also became obsessed with workout gear and buying workout clothes. So one day I was at a workout class and the trainer was wearing these exact beauties over here and I just like zeroed in on them. An all lilac shoe really does speak to me on a deep, deep level. So I knew that I had to like go out and find these. Nike makes things very difficult. When they come out with like special limited edition shoes, they are impossible to find. I went on Periscope when I was in Vancouver with Sam and Sam's Periscope fam actually helped me track down these shoes and I was able to order them from this like random website and I have received them. I have not worn them yet. I've just sort of been staring at them on my shelf but I'm just so obsessed with these. I think that they are like the coolest gym shoe. Some of you guys are probably like, Jamie, are you seriously that excited about gym shoes? But yeah. I am. So they're called the Nike Vapor Max. Um, I got them in a size nine and I do usually wear a size nine in case you do want to order them. You're wondering if they're true to size. The whole body of the shoe is like a knit, so it's very flexible. And then the sole is my favorite part of the shoe and it's like these air pockets. I don't even know what you would call them. So I'm pretty excited training these. I have not worn them yet um, and I really want to break them in. Oh, and if you're wondering, I didn't win the challenge. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, you guys, okay? 
I don't wanna talk about it. Let's talk about fragrances. Now I'm typically a little bit more drawn towards warmer scents. I like musky fragrances. This one is actually the same perfume that Alana mentioned in her video as well. We actually got it at the same event. So this is a replica by the fireplace. And what's really cool about replica fragrances is that they actually try to like replicate different moments in times. It says right here that their scents are a reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. So this one is called By the Fireplace and it says that it smells like burning wood and chestnut, which I would have to completely agree with. And what I love the most about this perfume is that this is actually the one that my mom wears. So whenever I wear it, it reminds me of her and I find it to be very comforting. So yeah, this is a really great one. If you like those very warm scents, would definitely recommend sniffing it next time you're at Sephora. So speaking of having scents like transport you to a different time. I actually bought this next perfume when I was in LA with Samantha and this is called Rose 31 and it's from Le Labo. What's really cool about Le Labo is that they actually make the perfume for you on the spot. So every time you buy the perfume, it's made like on the spot for you, which makes the experience like a little bit more special. And it's also pretty funny because you could put a name on the bottle, like you can name this like Jamie's Perfume, but I didn't want to do something boring. So I named this the Friendship Scent because like I said, I bought it when I was in LA with Samantha and I bought it with her. So I was like, this is going to be the smell that will remind me of our time in LA and it's, I'm going to call it the Friendship Scent. So I thought it was really cute. I'm really terrible describing scents, but this is a little bit more of like a florally scent. It smells like roses but it doesn't smell like a grandma. I just find it to be very like girly and feminine, but also a little bit musky. Which is okay, so now let's jump into some fashion favorites. Now I have been really into turtlenecks lately. And it's so funny because turtlenecks used to be something that I would avoid at all costs. I just never liked them for myself. I just didn't think they were very flattering, but this season I cannot get enough of them. I have bought so many turtlenecks, it's actually ridiculous. So I have some turtlenecks here that I wanted to show you guys because they are some of my favorites. I'll just quickly go through them. So the first one is a beautiful green one from Urban Outfitters. And would you look at that? It actually matches Winston back there perfectly. That's my cactus Winston, by the way, in case you didn't know. He's a very special part of the fam. And it's also pretty tight, so I like to wear this either with skirts or just high-waisted pants. And I just love the color. I think it's a little bit different, and it reminds me a lot of the 70s, which is something that I've been really drawn towards lately. I've been pulling a lot of inspiration um, as far as like what I've been wearing from the 70s. So this one really fit the bill perfectly. And I also got that exact one in like literally four different colors. So this next one is from Aritzia. So what I like about this turtleneck is that the fabric is actually a little bit sheer so I love wearing just like a pretty bralette under this and you could see it very slightly and I think it just gives it a bit of like a sexier twist and especially since it is a turtleneck and you're so covered up everywhere else it's always nice to you know have a little sum sum going on and I also have it in black and this color over here is gorgeous I think it's so pretty I love these burnt orange shades for the fall and winter time very much into it. This is what I like to call my fancy turtleneck. I also got this one at Aritzia. So it's a set, it comes with this tank top and then this sheer lace turtleneck. And I love wearing this with high-waisted black jeans, some boots, and I think it's a pretty badass, badass look. So there you have it, those are my favorite turtlenecks. So let's move back to beauty for a sec. I really wanted to talk about the Natasha Denona crystal top coats. I've been wearing them literally almost every single day, day as well as night. I'm actually not wearing it on my lids today, which is silly, I should have put it on. But these are basically very sheer shimmery top coats that you could either wear by itself or lay it on top of another eyeshadow. I just love the effect that these give the eyes. It just makes your lids look glossy and because there's a lot of shimmer in here, it obviously makes your eyes look very glittery as well. And I find that it's just a really quick and easy way to get um, a pretty beautiful effect on your lids. So another makeup item that I've been really enjoying recently is this new liquid eyeliner from It Cosmetics. This is the It Superhero Liner. I'm able to get a very, very precise line with the applicator and it makes it just very easy to create a very sharp wing. And I also love the formula. It's very black, it lasts really well. Also what I found to be really cool about this, when I was actually at the L'Oreal event, I was talking to the girls at the It Cosmetics booth and they told me that this eyeliner actually has the same hair bristles as their brushes, which I thought was really cool. I don't really know how much that like actually makes a difference in the end, but 
I mean, it works. It works really well, so maybe it does. So yeah, that's really all I gotta say about this. So next, let's talk about some hair products. So I have two over here. The first one is the Wave Spray. This is the little mini travel size. I was watching a ton of Jen Atkin um, hair tutorials one day, and I realized that she uses the Wave Spray when the hair is actually wet. And she does this in order to give the hair um, some hold and memory. So it's almost like a pre blow dry hairspray. <laughs> so before I got in my extensions, I actually used this on my short hair all the time, especially when I wanted that like tousled texture. I would spray this in my hair when it was wet and I really did find that it made a huge difference in making my waves more defined and also just keeping them in place and sort of in a, in a shape throughout the day. My hairstylist actually recommended that I use this in my bangs in order to sort of keep them in place and I really find that they literally do not move even after I sleep on them when I spray this in them when they're dry and I sort of just place them, I find it works better than a hairspray. Now the Smooth Spray is probably one of the only hair care products that I've tried that I actually find smooths my hair. I have very frizzy, very curly hair. You probably couldn't tell now because I've tamed it quite a bit, but my hair is naturally beyond curly. In order to smooth it out, I have to go through a lot of heat tools and I always like to try and minimize the amount of heat that I put on my hair because it just damages it terribly. So I like to try and smooth it before I even go into blow dry it. It just makes everything a whole lot easier. And this smooth spray works wonders and it's also supposed to be a thermal protector which uh, is great because like I said, I use a ton of heat on my hair. So I'm gonna jump back into some fashion. These pair of jeans, I have not taken off my body. These right over here are my Levi's. They are the 721s high rise skinny. Now I've been on a hunt for a long time looking for a high rise denim that was comfortable, distressed, and fit me properly. And these really fit the bill. Now I've never tried on a pair of Levi's that I've actually liked until these. I always find Levi's a little bit difficult to fit like they're always like five sizes too small and they fit in my ass but they don't fit in my legs or like the other way around and they're always just a mess but i tried these on and they literally changed my life i've been wearing them almost every single day with all my outfits. I even went ahead and bought a different color. I got them in a dark gray. And because they are high-waisted, I just find them to be really flattering. I love them. So we might as well talk about my last favorite fashion item and it is this really insane jacket from Anthropology. <laughs> okay, you will either absolutely love this or hate it. So I totally get it if you feel very differently than I do about this jacket, but I am so in love with it. So this is what the jacket looks like. It is the fluffiest jacket on planet Earth. It literally feels like a giant blanket when you wear it, which is three quarters of the reason why I love this. It may look like just a white fluffy jacket from afar, but if you look up close, it has a bit of like green right at the base of the fluffs. So it gives like a slight greenish tinge at certain angles, which sounds really weird, but it actually makes the jacket, I think, extra cool. I mean, I'm sure it's pretty obvious, but I just want to make sure and make it very clear that this is not fur. It's not even like a faux fur. It's just like, I don't know, a fluffy fabric. So yeah, I just wanted to make that very, very clear. And this jacket is also exceptionally warm, which is fantastic because it's already in the negatives out here. So it's definitely a standout piece. People notice you in this thing, that's for sure. I have these powders over here that I spoke about in my Get Ready With Me with Samantha. Oh, I had to just talk about them again because I honestly just can't get over them. They are so beautiful. I don't wanna to be too repetitive, especially if you've already seen me talk about them in that video, but these are the Lila B powders. I've got the foundation powder, which I use as like a setting powder, and I also have the B Sunkissed bronzer, which is a bronzer duo. The bronzer is the bronzer that I've been wearing nonstop ever since I got it. I actually find it to be really, really similar to that Marc Jacobs limited edition bronzer in the big white packaging, and it gives you that really natural sunkissed look without looking overdone because the powders are so smooth and not powdery. They really do look like one with the skin. Same thing goes with the foundation powder. I am not a huge powder girl. I to have dry skin so powder doesn't usually work so well on me it just sets it and disappears you don't even see it and if you're wondering i use the shade be natural these are the little mini eyeshadow palettes that huda beauty just came out with there's like the smoky one the mauve one 
the warm one and then the more colorful one. So each palette has a mix of mattes, metallics, and then more glittery shades. They're all very cohesive palettes. You definitely can create a full look with all of them. I also really love how many eyeshadows you get in such a small little package. It makes it really great to travel with. Obviously, I really like these, so the quality of the eyeshadows are A++. They're pigmented, they're blendable, they work well. Just overall, I've been reaching for them a ton. I'm wearing the mauve one on my eyes today, and my favorite one, Overall, it's definitely the Smoky Obsessions. I just love the shades in here. They're so beautiful. You really do have everything in here that you need to create more of like a smoky look and even something more natural if you wanted to. Totally almost forgot to talk about one of my most favorite fashion items of the last like two, three months because I have not been able to stop wearing it and it is this Baker Boy hat. Now, I can't believe that I actually got into this trend because when the trend first started, I was like, oh my God, that is so weird that these are back in style. And I just didn't think that I would like it, but now I can't get enough of them. I literally want a Baker Boy hat in every single color. This one in particular is my current favorite. Well, it's really the only one that I have, so obviously it's my favorite, but it is just like black and it sort of has like a corduroy texture to it. I believe I got this at Urban Outfitters. I could be wrong. Honestly, you can get one that looks exactly like this in a million different places. So here is what it looks like. I actually have yet to try it with my new hair. So not much else to say about it. Love me a good Baker Boy hat. So guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming this. I love doing something a little bit different on my channel, talking about um, you know, more lifestyle things. I thought it was really fun. Please let me know down below in the comments what other lifestyle types of videos you'd like to see from me or even fashion related videos. I'm really looking to expand my content a little bit more and do things that aren't only purely makeup related just to show you guys a bit more of what I love because I love a lot of things and not just makeup, although I do really love makeup a lot. Give this video a big thumbs up and also let me know in the comments some of the things that you've been loving lately and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So that is it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.